Hi, I am Arjun, uh, working as assistant professor in uh, Sai Vijayan Stock Technology, Mechanical Engineering Department. So in today's session, I am going to solve one problem on hydrostatic bearings. The problem is something like this. A hydrostatic bearing has the following specifications. So inlet pressure is 3.2 Newton per mm square, viscosity of the lubricant under given operating conditions is 43 centipoise, external pressure is 0. Oil film thickness is 0 0.0508 mm. Vertical load on the bearing is 17,000 Newton. Shaft speed is 900 rpm. Assuming that, okay, radius ratio. So R2 by R1 is 2. Determine. So we need to find out diameter of the shaft, rate of oil flow, and power loss due to friction. So uh, to begin with, so let us uh, write down the data given in the problem. So to begin with, as I told, let us uh, start uh, start with the data given in the problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, as given the inlet pressure as 3.2 Newton per mm square. So P naught is 3.2 into, so that I will convert that into Newton per meter square, 10 per 6 Newton per meter square. So viscosity of the lubricant under given operating conditions is 43 centipoise. So viscosity is 43 centipoise, I will convert this into Pascals per second is 43 into 10 per minus 3 Newton second per meter square or Pascals per second. External pressure is 0, so let us not worry about that. Oil film thickness is H, so 0 0.0508 mm. So again I will convert that into meter, 10 per minus 3 meter. Vertical load on the bearing, so W they have given, so 17,000 Newton. Shaft speed is 900 rpm, so they are given N, which is 900 rpm. So let us find out N dash, so 900 divided by 60. So 900 divided by 60 is 15 rps, okay, 15 rotations per second. N dash is 15 rotations per second. And they are given the radius ratios, R2 by R1 as 2. Uh, in, in, in other words, even we can uh, take it as, so 2 R2, so R, R2 will be taken as 2 times R1, okay, 2 times uh, R1, so uh, this value, so uh, uh, in, in, in other parameters, so we can convert this into D2, so diameter D2 is equal to so 2 times d1, so we can consider like this uh, in, in the diameter ratios, okay. And uh, so we need to find out diameter of the shaft, rate of oil flow and the power loss due to friction. So uh, to start with, I will consider the inlet pressure equation P0 is equal to 8 W ln of d2 by d1 d2 by d1 divided by pi into d2 square minus d1 square. So this equation we obtain it from uh, data and book equation number 24.139 volume 2 design data and book. So let us substitute uh, uh, the values into this equation we know p naught so 3.2 into 10 power 6 is equal to 8, 17,000 ln of. So now we know D2 is 2 times D1, 2 D1 divided by D1. So pi into, so 2, D2 is 2 into D1, 2 D1 square will be 4 into D1 square minus D1, I will write as it is D1 square. So on simplifying this, Okay, I'm simplifying this. So we are going to get this term as 8 into 17,000. So 94267.992 divided by, so this value is, so this will become 4d1 square minus d1 square is 3d1 square, 3d1 square. 3 into shift pi, 3 into shift pi is 
फोर टू फोर सेवन डी वन स्क्वायर टू थ्री पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन पार सिक्स थ्री पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन पार सिक्स नाइन फोर टू सिक्स सेवन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन टू डिवाइडेड बाय आंसर क्रेडिट ऑफ आंसर So we are going to get the value of D1 as 0.0870 meter. Okay. So this is the value of uh, D1. So if you want to convert this into mm, so this will be uh, 85. Sorry, 87. Point, okay. So divided by thousand. So eighty seven point zero nine mm. Okay. Now now so since D one is zero point zero eight seven zero nine meter. So we are going to get the value of due to as point one seven four one meter. Point one seven four one meter. Or if you want, you can approximate this to point one seven four one. So we have four one eight. So uh, you can approximate it to four one five. One seven four one five. So approximately, so this will be one seventy five. So one seventy one, one seventy four point one mm. So this is the value of D two. So now we know that uh, rate of flow. So rate of oil flow. This is the second parameter that we are supposed to find out. Okay, rate of oil flow. So equation for rate of oil flow is Q is equals to pi p naught. H Q divided by six into eta into ln of d two by d one. So uh, now this is the equation to use to find out rate of oil flow. Again, this equation is obtained from data and book equation number twenty four point one four zero. So now, uh, in order to find out Q, so p uh, sorry pi into p naught is one point three six into ten power six. Uh, oil film thickness H is 0.0508 into 10 power minus 3. So H cube. So we have H cube divided by 6 into eta is 43 centimeters. 43 into 10 power minus 3 into ln of d2 by d1. So now we have d2 value 0.1741 divided by d1 is 0.08709. 0.1741. Zero point one seven four one divided by zero point zero eight seven zero nine. Enough answer into forty three ten power minus three into six. So this entire value is zero point one seven eight seven one, and now this value. Shift by into one point three six ten plus six into zero point zero five zero eight ten plus minus three cube. So 
so we are going to get the value of q as 3.1341 10 power okay wait a minute shift pi into 1.36 10 power 6 10 power minus 6 so meter cube per second so this value is 5.6011 into 10 power minus 7 so now this is the rate of oil flow and finally to find out power loss Okay, power loss equation P mu is equals to 0 0.0.062062 0 0.062 n dash square into eta divided by 16 h into d2 to the power of 4 minus d1 to the power of 4. So power loss is equals to 0 0.062 n dash square is 15 square n dash square is 15 square into 43 10 power minus 3 divided by 16 minimum oil film thickness is 0 0.0508 10 power minus 3 into d2 is 0 0.1741 minus to the power of 4 0 0.0809 to the power of 4 okay so now it's 0 0.1741 minus 0 0.08709 raised 4 into 0 0.062 to 15 square into 43. So power loss obtained is 0 0.635 kilowatt. Okay, and uh, I forgot to tell you the equation number. This is 24.141. Thank you.